Some people cope with religious trauma by shutting down, some by getting angry. I've done both those things, but now I'm trying a third way, and I'd love to tell you about it. Would you join me on a walk? You know, for me, and for a lot of people that used to be evangelical, I think we look inward and we explore our inner world and sometimes we even have these positive moments where we find healing or find resolution. But if those moments don't lead to any tangible, positive, practical momentum in our lives, we often feel like our faith experience, our religious experience, whatever kind of experience we want to have, remains unformed. And my problem is that when I look at my past, you know, there's all this trauma, and then I look at my future and I imagine the same old wolf in new clothing sort of thing. And the problem is, is that while the practice of Christianity bewilders me, I am unrevocably and irreversibly religious. I see being alive as sort of like, we all spend our lives on this kind of surface plane and there's this whole underworld. And I think one of the things that religion does is it gives us access to that underworld that's so full of life. And in spite of all my ancestors giving so much to try to understand and talk about and create form, around spiritual things. You know, I don't know how to talk to my kids about it. So I'm on this journey trying to figure out how to do that. You know, if I get to the end of my life and I'm sitting on my deathbed and I look back on this topic, I feel like I never really sent it. I just recoiled and let time pass. I think I'll feel like I, like I lost the plot. There's mosquitoes everywhere. I kind of imagine they're like me asking you to like and subscribe. You know, really what it comes down to is whether I'm looking back or whether I'm looking forward, both ways I see people. Imperfect people with ideas about the world. Some which I won't be able to identify with and others that could change my life. And, uh, you know, it feels like if I want the goods, I gotta be open to all that. I gotta stop being proud and be willing to enjoy the wonderful ideas that circulated in my religious communities when I was a kid. Some of them were really awesome. And as much as I'm intimidated to go out and meet people and put myself out there, it's the same thing as anything thing else. Getting back on the bike after a girl breaks your heart. Trying to have kids again after you miscarry. Starting a business up when your first one flops. That's this theme. You gotta do this painful work of willingness. We finally made it to the river. I swear it's not supposed to be a metaphor for anything. You're on the path to God, who's everywhere, all the time. I don't think that we get rid of pain. I think as our hearts get bigger, 
the pain becomes part of who we are. And the work is not to escape it, but let it become a beautiful part of a tapestry. I'm trying to construct. Constructing's no good. I'm trying to unpack stuff, but unpacking stuff doesn't feel any good. I just feel like I've got to have a bigger heart that can hold all the complexity and be buoyant. It's like in What About Bob? Baby Steps. Sending love to everyone. See you next time. Hey, pup. Hey, pup. Hi. <laughs>